Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called furosemide, and furosemide is commonly referred to as its brand name, which is Lasix. It falls under the class of loop diuretics, and I'll kind of explain why in a moment. So how does it work in the body? Furosemide works by blocking the absorption of the sodium, the potassium, and the chloride in the loop of Henle and the distal and proximal tubules of the kidneys, and so this increases urine output. Let's go into that just a little bit deeper. As we know, the loop of Henle is located within the kidneys, and the kidneys actually filter out waste products from our blood. Normally, the loop of Henle would promote the reabsorption of sodium, potassium, and chloride back into the body. But whenever the patient is taking furosemide or is given furosemide, it blocks this reabsorption. So this causes diuresis, and basically the patient urinates out these electrolytes, and as we know, wherever sodium goes in the body, water goes as well. So the patient also urinates out excess water. Your indications for furosemide are going to be a hyper hypertensive crisis, CHF exacerbation, and pulmonary edema. As always, before we get into dosages, please abide by your local protocol and know it very well. Especially with furosemide, protocols vary from state to state, county to county, and area to area. Your adult dose is going to be 0.5 to 1 milligram per kilogram over two minutes. And if the patient is currently on Lasix, double the initial dose to two milligrams per kilogram over two minutes. The pediatric dose is going to be one milligram per kilogram kilogram over two minutes. Your contraindications are going to be hypovolemia, hypotension, pregnancy, and suspected electrolyte imbalances. Adverse reactions of furosemide can include headache, nausea, vomiting, dysrhythmias. Anytime we mess with the electrolytes in the body, we can definitely see dysrhythmias, hypotension, and hyperglycemia. Drug interactions, severe hypotension with antihypertensives and nitrates, and also toxicity with lithium and digoxin. How it's supplied. You can see it supplied in 10 milligram in 1 ml, 20 milligram in 2 ml, or 40 milligram in 4 ml vials. A few side notes about furosemide. Vasodilation typically occurs within five minutes of administration. You can see a drop in the blood pressure. The diuretic effects typically occur within 30 minutes. Do not administer this medication rapidly as it can cause deafness, tinnitus, and projectile vomiting. So very, very important to abide by the direction of administering over over two minutes. Furosemide is extremely controversial in the EMS field due to the possible nephrotoxic effects, and also it provides no immediate benefit to the patient. So if you are dealing with a patient who is having a hypertensive crisis or CHF exacerbation or fluid overload, etc., typically unless your transport time is long, you're not going to see immediate benefits from administering Lasix because it takes about 30 minutes to start seeing those effects. And then of course you're going to need to be near a bathroom. I know specifically in my state, you really don't see furosemide given in the EMS setting, but I realize that it is still within our scope and many states still carry it and administer it. As always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and always follow your scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.